Hi there, this is Samurai Snake. Welcome to part 3 of Mega Man. Last time we defeated Cut Man and Elect Man. Coming up are the two Robot Masters that set the trend for what would be the Ice and Fire Elemental Robot Masters. Ice Man and Fire Man. I really love the details in Ice Man's stage. It looks like a frozen desert or oasis as can be told by the frozen palm trees. Iceman's stage also has the most annoying enemy in the game, the Crazy Razy. Destroy the body and the head will fly around and continue to attack you. Destroy the head first to kill it all at once. This also makes it the first water stage in the entire Mega Man franchise. Water stages are my least favorite trope in Mega Man games. The ice in the stage will cause Mega Man to slide if you let go of the D-pad after walking. Iceman's stage is also home to an alternate version of Killer Bullets, flying penguins called Pepes. The only difference is that they won't damage you when they explode. Disappearing blocks are also a part of Iceman's stage. If you took the same order I did, you won't have to deal with them, thanks to the Magnet Beam, but I recommend that you save it for later in this stage. Now, there's a lot of wonder why Rockman was localized as Mega Man. Not too long ago, it was recently rediscovered that an old 1993 issue of Game Players Magazine revealed that the former Capcom of America Vice President, Joe Morici, thought that the name Rockman sucked. Of course, that's one man's opinion, but it could have been worse. Names like Mighty Kid and Knuckle Kid were passed on including the embarrassingly gay name Rainbow Man. That name naturally came from the different colors displayed by selecting a weapon, which also came about due to an accidental glitch while programming the different weapons for the game. This is my way of giving the game the middle finger, using the magnet beam to bypass the disappearing blocks and the entire platforming section consisting of footholders and pepes. Normally, you'd have to dodge shots from footholders as well as pepes, or you'd fall into the abyss and die. But thanks to the magnet beam, that won't happen. According to the Rockman and Forte database, Iceman worked in a cold storage facility, but was originally created to explore the Antarctic. As such, he's impervious to sub-zero temperatures. Iceman likes to stand out from the crowd, and is quite a bit of a show-off. However, he tends to whine a lot. He also enjoys playing in the snow, but hates saunas. In the Archie comic book and the PlayStation racing game called Mega Man Battle and Chase, it's hinted that Iceman also has a crush on Roll. For what it's worth, here's the powered-up dialogue with Iceman. Aside from the Hyper Bomb being his weakness, Iceman doesn't differ a whole lot from his NES counterpart. He tends to fire three shots of the Ice Slasher after jumping. His desperation attack is summoning a giant Ice Stalocyte. Anyways, back to the NES version. Iceman uses the Ice Slasher more often. Three hits from the Thunder Beam will destroy him. With the Ice Slasher, you'll be able to freeze enemies in place. It's very useful against big eyes. All that's left now is Fireman. Before Dr. Wily reprogrammed him, he worked at a waste management facility as an incinerator. The funny thing is, thanks to the lack of detail in a stage, it looks more like robot hell. He's very compassionate, but tends to have a hot-headed temper. Fireman also loves to go camping, but hates rain. 
Fireman also appeared in one episode of the Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon, and was never seen again. This would be acceptable if it weren't for the fact that he never got any lines whatsoever. He appeared only in the very first episode of the Mega Man cartoon. Fireman and Bombman's stage tend to share the same type of enemies, so you won't be encountering anything too new, aside from tackle fires rising from lava. You can use the Ice Slasher to freeze the flames shooting up, and also use them as stepping stones. This is something else that makes Mega Man unique. Certain weapons are not restricted to combat only, and can be used as helping items, especially for this situation. You can use the Ice Slasher to get up to those weapon energy capsules, or if you're lazy like me, use the Magnet Beam. Going back to Mega Man's name for a bit, there's a small but pretty vocal portion of the Western Mega Man fanbase that likes the original name Rockman better than Mega Man. Some of it can be attributed to how Capcom of America marketed Mega Man. Of course, I speak about what's known as the So Hideous It's Legendary American box art. Capcom gave their artist an extremely short deadline to make it, and no source material whatsoever. That's the story of how we got bad box art Mega Man. This section consists entirely of tackle fires that will rise out of the lava and attack you in clusters. This can make jumping from platform to platform quite difficult. Tackle fires are also very weak, and can be easily destroyed with one shot of the Mega Buster. I suggest that you use the Magnet Beam to cross every single gap instead of jumping over them. For this section, just use the Magnet Beam to bypass walking between the two flames. You're in the home stretch once you reach this point. I suggest you use the rolling cutter to take out the floor patrols called gabules, as well as what killer bullets may appear for the remainder of the stage. For what it's worth, the name gabule is derived from the Japanese word for thumbtack. Tackle fires will also rise out of the upcoming lava pits, so you'll just have to be patient until three fly off the screen. The best part about this section is that there is no big eye at the end, just a boss door filled with screwdrivers. The hallway to Fireman is pretty much deja vu. It's just Cutman's area all over again. This time you'll have the Thunder Beam that you can use to take them down, so you won't have to wait for them to rise up from the ceiling or ground anymore. Once you reach Fireman and Power It Up, you'll get some quirky dialogue from him. Fireman is so much easier in the remake. He uses the Firestorm at a slower rate, and he'll also launch a Fire Wave for his Desperation attack, which can also be frozen. Don't ask me how it works, this is Mega Man's I don't care physics. Back in the NES version, Fireman is the second hardest robot master in the game because his Firestorm shots are very fast, and they leave behind flames after contact. It takes seven shots of the Ice Slasher to kill Fireman. Now you have the best weapon in the game! That's all for now. I'll see you guys later in part four when we take on Dr. Wily. See you guys then! <laughs>